Well, we just got through filling up with gas. It's September the 30th, 925 Eastern Time. And I've got a 13 hour drive ahead of me. I'm going out to uh, Ada, Oklahoma to hunt with my good friend Joe Bailey at Suspect Outfitting. Uh, I'm also going to get to share a camp with a longtime friend, Rod Winker, Rinker from uh, Indiana. Uh, awful excited about that. Jeb finally had an opening. I helped Rod get slid in there, and Jeb's looking forward to him coming out. So hopefully we have a good, successful hunt, a safe trip out. 13 hours is a long way to be riding somewhere by yourself. Um, my good friend Easton Ramsey's going to be filming me, as he always does every year out here on the first bow hunt. Tomorrow's opening day. Uh, they've not had any rain in about 120-something days. And the long range forecaster not even supposed to be getting any rain out here to November the 20th. So Jeb says everything's burnt up, food plots are history. Uh, he said no no acorns at all. The, he said he just I talked to him on the phone last night and he said I wouldn't believe it when I got out there how brown everything already was. Usually the first of October everything's still lush and green. Uh, oak trees are full hanging full of acorns and all that, so it's going to be a different experience but i'm looking forward to it as always uh looking forward to seeing miss sissy and carter and bry as well so we're going to get settled in for a long trip here so wish us luck safe trip and rod will meet up tonight buddy and we'll get ready to kill one of these oklahoma monsters tomorrow morning hopefully see you guys when we get to ada Plan the entire year for it, that moment when it all comes together. From setting up the trail camp or sighting in, you're dedicated to crafting the perfect hunt. We're dedicated to making sure you can be at the right place at the right time to make the shot. Visit us online to find a dealer near you. That's what happens when you go 120 something days with no rain. You can see that pasture's burnt completely up. Uh, the other pond's already dry, and he tried to, he, he uh, dug a new pond, it's already went dry. Uh, the cattle farmers out here are really hurting. A lot of them's had to sell their cattle off because they don't have any hay to feed them. Uh, round bale of hay out here is going for about $120 a round bale. No food plots, the browse is about burnt up and gone. Uh, no acorns, 
mean, they're hurting. So most of the time out here, the deer will put on about 20 inches. Some does crossing the road in front of us now. But, uh, this year, where everything is so dry, they're only putting on eight to 10 inches, which is horrible. That was a huge pond. Some people out here call them lakes, but that's what they look like <clears throat> when you go 120 something days without water. So that's what we're battling out here. You've seen a, a bunch of the pasture fields that we drove by that we filmed, empty ponds. This one here is about halfway gone down. Uh, if they don't get some rain here pretty soon, they're gonna be in trouble. And as far as I know, the last word I got in the extended uh, forecast, I don't think they're even given a possibility of a chance of it until about November the 20th. So let's pray that these people out here in southeast Oklahoma get some rain and get it soon. Well, we are actually getting in here this morning to the point where we're going to probably be sitting in the dark for about an hour and 45 minutes before it even starts breaking daylight. But the reason that we're doing that we got an east wind again this morning, and where these deer are bedding, we need to get in here early. I mean early. If we don't, then we're probably going to bump something out. we got to walk through a big bottom, a pasture field, and they're going to be able to see us, and we're not going to be able to see them. So we want to get in here. We don't want anything blowing, and we don't want to disturb anything. We're going to try to get in here as quiet as we can. Uh, hopefully it's worth the wait. Jeb says we're going to kill him at 7.36 this morning. So, you know if that don't happen, we're going to really ride him like a Missouri blue-nosed blue mule is what we're going to do and give him a hard time. <laughs> Jeb and Easton come in here yesterday and hung his scent. The way it is, they said there's a big limb comes out. They said that you couldn't shoot it with the regular bow because the bottom limb would hit the get the big limb bees off the tree, so we elected to bring her back in 4.30 cross the bow with us today. Now we're gonna to try to get in here as quiet as we can. We're real early, but there's a reason for that. These deer's been showing up right at daylight, or they're just hanging around after it breaks today, so we're gonna to try to get in here early enough to get the jump on. All right, man, we've made it in here, and our whole purpose is trying to get in here early. So we want it to Give it plenty of time because this deer's been coming in just right at light and just right after light. So he shows up in the dark. Only thing we can do is hope and pray that he sticks around long enough to bring his daylight and we have camera light. Came in here, it was our first set. 
we seen a real nice three year old. And we had a spike and a couple of does in here. Jeb said this morning we'd probably kill him about 7.36, and I think we killed him at 7.01. What Jeb has to do out here, he has to fence in where he puts the, the, the corn out because it's legal to bait here in Oklahoma, as everybody knows. And uh, if you don't, the wild hogs eat up all the corn, so anyway. Well, here we are. It's the second day of the Oklahoma bow season. We're right here at Suspect Outfitting with Jeb Bailey. And Jeb done his homework and got us on another nice material Oklahoma buck. Uh, the only difference that we're seeing out here this year, they've been in a severe drought. They've not had any rain in 120 something days. Most of these deer that we had photo of, of last year put on 15 to 20 inches a year. And this year they've only put on about 10. Uh, which that will do that. You see that a lot out in Texas and out here in Oklahoma as well. But he's a nice five and a half, six year old mature deer. He offered us a good shot, so we elected to take him. It was a short, sweet hunt. Uh, Jeb said we'd kill him at 736, and we had to wait on daylight to break just uh, as soon as Easton gave me the green light and told me he had good light and he was on him. We elected to take the shot. And here I am again, sitting behind a nice material Oklahoma deer at Suspect Outfitting with Jeb Bailey.